What would you do if someone knocked on your door every night at the exact same time, but no one was ever there? And what if that knocking started revealing secrets about you that no one else should know? Every night, without fail, it happens. The clock strikes the same hour, and there it is, a knock on the door. At first, it seems like a harmless mystery. Maybe it's a prank, you think, but when the knocks keep coming night after night and no one is ever there, you start to wonder. But it doesn't stop at just knocking. One night, you hear a voice, a voice that knows things about you, things you've never told anyone, secrets you've buried deep. And with each knock, the feeling of dread grows. Is it something from outside trying to break in? Or is it something much closer? Something inside you? This is my story. How a simple knock turned into a nightmare, unraveling everything I thought I knew about myself. Stay with me, and I'll tell you how it all began. I've lived alone and peacefully in this house for years. It's nothing special, just a small, quiet place on the edge of town. Most days, everything is routine. I'd come home from work, fix something for dinner, maybe watch TV, and then head to bed. Nothing ever really changed. That is, until one night, when I heard the knock. I remember it was around 10 p.m. The sound startled me at first. A firm knock at the front door. I wasn't expecting anyone. In fact, no one ever really visited at that time of night. But I shrugged it off. Maybe it was a neighbor or a package delivery I'd missed. I opened the door, and no one was there. But the next night, at the same time, 10 p.m. sharp, it happened again. The knock. This time, I hesitated. It felt... off. I opened the door, and once again, nothing. No one. Just the stillness of the night. As the nights went on, the knocking continued. Always at 10 p.m. without fail. It was as if the door itself was alive, waiting to be answered. And each time no one was there. I started to get paranoid. Was someone messing with me? I needed answers. I installed a camera outside, hoping to catch whoever or whatever was behind the knocks. But the footage reveals nothing. There is no sign of anyone coming to the door. And the knocks persist as if from some unseen force. The knocks grew louder, more insistent. Every night, they felt more aggressive and more demanding. And then, I heard it. A voice. It started as a whisper at first. It was faint and muffled, like it was coming from the other side of the door. But each night it became clearer, and what it said chilled me to the bone. The voice called my name and spoke of things from my past, things that I never told anyone. It started with small details, things from my childhood, memories I hadn't thought about in years. But then, the voice started talking about things I had tried to forget, secrets I had buried deep, things I hadn't told a soul. How could it know? I felt exposed and vulnerable. The knocking was no longer just an inconvenience. It felt personal and intrusive. The voice seemed to know my darkest secrets, as if someone or something had been watching me for years. I started to feel like I was being watched, even when I was alone. Shadows danced in the corners of my vision. Every creak of the house felt like footsteps. I couldn't sleep. I couldn't focus. I stopped going to work and stopped talking to friends. The knocks consumed me. One night I couldn't take it anymore. The knocking was louder than ever, and the voice, it said my name. It's clear as day. I froze. My heart was racing, my mind spinning. Who was this? How did they know everything about me? The voice no longer whispers. It speaks of my name clearly and recounts personal stories from my life. I am terrified and unable to understand how this entity knows so much about me. I tried to open the door, but I couldn't. My hand shook on the doorknob, paralyzed by fear. The voice started to tell me things I couldn't remember. Events from my past that didn't make sense. Moments I had no memory of. I began to wonder, had I forgotten or was something else going on? Empty paranoia deepens. I started questioning my memory, doubting my reality. The voice seems to know more about my life than I do, and it's pushing me toward a dark realization. I started keeping a journal trying to document every knock, every word the voice spoke. I thought maybe if I wrote it all down I could figure out what was happening. But the more I wrote the less sense it made. 
It was like I was piecing together a puzzle that I didn't even know existed. I became obsessed with understanding the knocks and the voice. I began documenting the occurrences, trying to find patterns or clues. But the more I dig, the more confused I become. Memories that once felt solid now seemed distant and fragmented. The voice started revealing things that didn't add up. Memories that weren't mine, or at least I didn't think they were. I started having flashbacks. Moments where I saw myself in situations I couldn't explain. It felt like, like I wasn't who I thought I was. I start questioning my entire identity. The voice seems to suggest that the life I've lived isn't entirely mine, and memories I've suppressed start bubbling to the surface. And then it hit me. The knocks, the voice, the memories. They weren't from someone else, they were from me. From a part of me I had tried to forget, a version of myself I had buried deep. I begin to realize that the knocking figure isn't a stranger. It's a manifestation of my own guilt, repressed memories, or an alternate version of myself trying to break through. The knocks are coming from inside my mind, pushing me to confront the truth. The voice became more aggressive, taunting me, accusing me of things I didn't remember doing. And the knocks, they no longer waited for me to answer. The door started shaking violently as if someone, no, as if I, was trying to break through. I realized that the voice and the knocks are part of an internal conflict I've been avoiding for years. It's not an external force, it's a battle within my mind. One night, I decided I couldn't take it anymore. I had to face whatever was behind the door. I had to know. I walked up to the door, my heart pounding, and I opened it slowly, expecting to finally confront whoever, or whatever, was on the other side. I prepared for the final confrontation, ready to face the stranger behind the door. I expected to find the source of my torment, but what I saw was far more terrifying. When I opened the door, there was no one there. Instead, I saw my own reflection, staring back at me from the doorway. But it wasn't just me. It was something darker, a version of me that I didn't recognize. My reflection spoke in the same voice I had been hearing all along. It told me things I had tried to forget, horrible truths buried deep in my subconscious. The stranger behind the door had always been me. The knocks were a reminder of everything I had tried to bury, everything I didn't want to face. I realized that the stranger was never an external entity. It was a manifestation of my internal struggle, repressed memories, and guilt trying to force my way back into consciousness. The final twist reveals that the knocks were a wake-up call, forcing me to confront the darkest parts of myself. I closed the door, shaken to my core. The knocking stopped, but the silence was worse. Now I'm left wondering how much of my life was real. Who am I, really? And the scariest part, will the knocks ever start again? In the end, the scariest stranger isn't the one behind the door. It's the one that knows every dark secret you've buried inside yourself. And when it comes knocking, you can't escape it. I thought I was dealing with someone, something outside of myself, but the truth is the knocks were always coming from within. Every secret, every regret, every suppressed memory, those were the things pounding on the door, demanding to be let in. The absolute terror wasn't the unknown. It was the parts of myself I never wanted to face. And now that I've opened that door, I can't close it again. This story isn't about a haunting or a ghost. It's about the scariest ghost of all. Our past, our own mistakes, our hidden selves. And when that part of you comes knocking, there's no running, no hiding, just the truth staring you in the face.